everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Hope everybody's doing great. Today is Saturday, January 15th, 2022. It's about 10.40 in the morning. And my co-host is here with me. She's not in her perch, of course. I don't know if you can see her. No, you can't. Well, I'm sure you'll see her in just a moment. She's right here next to me. Um, but here's her perch and, you know, she's not there. <laughs> I'm going to do the food on top of the perch thing at some point. And see if I can get her to do that. Um, but anyway, so I have a lot of things to talk about today. Um, this is my Friday video, although I know I just said it's Saturday. Um, it will be on Fridays from now on, most likely. That's my goal. I just it was the first week back to work, and I was so tired, and I just needed to sleep in yesterday. In fact, I even slept in today, which I hello, <laughs> which I normally don't sleep in. On Saturdays, I slept until 9 o'clock, which is like so late for me. But it's cold, it's foggy outside, I was tired. I even took like a impromptu nap, <laughs> which means I fell asleep on the sofa last night before I even had dinner. And it was so tired. So anyway, I have things to do today and I really don't want to do any of them. I'm just like not motivated. And if it's, if it's not motivated... If I'm not motivated due to depression, I make myself do it because then I, I'm, I'm usually like, okay, I'm glad I did it. But today it's not depression. It's just, I don't want to, I don't want to go out and do yard work when it's foggy and cold and I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm stalling. <laughs> uh, if I stall long enough, I won't have time. How about that? Anyway, <laughs> you're giving me love looks, aren't you girl? <laughs> oh, my cats are so wonderful. Yes. Anyway, um, so I have a lot to talk about. I think I've said that like before, already. And I'm just going to plunge right in, although it's kind of hard to do with a cat right in front of me. Um, I'm going to start by saying that I finished my shawl that I was making for a friend of mine and she really liked it. Um, so I'll put a picture of that here. Um, it turned out really good. I was really happy with it, and I, I think it'll bring her a lot of comfort. Um, so I finished that in the last week. and In fact, I finished it last Sunday because I wanted to give it to her Monday. Sunday or Saturday? I don't know. I can't remember now. It's been a week. <laughs> um, and so the other thing I was working on at the time, well... You know, I think I've already like blown my first goal, which is to work on two projects at a time. <laughs> I think that's just not going to happen for me <laughs> because by the end of this video, you're going to say, uh, yeah, no, not going to happen. Oh, well. Um, so the other thing I'm working on, I think I told you last week that I was going to take my big bag of the bigger scraps that I'm like not planning to have anymore because... I'm either, like, once my skein gets floppy, I'm going to, like, roll it into a ball and then use it. And I am still doing the the scraps for, like, the magic balls, the little magic balls, 10 yards or less. And then if it's 12 inches, 12 inches or less, it goes in my scrap bag for stuffing. Um, but I'm not going to have, like, big scrap balls anymore. I, those are going to be used up. So I took my bin of big scrap balls and I poured them into the bag, the Weight Watchers bag that I showed you last time. And what I did, since I've talked to you, is I've started making mega magic balls. <laughs> <clears throat> so let me show you, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm talking about. So I am making, oh, <laughs> she loves yarn. <laughs> I'm making mega magic balls. So usually my, my magic balls that I use to make my cat and my bear, um, they are with scraps that are 10 yards or less. And that's just a number that I decided on. Quit chewing on my yarn. And hey, I have an idea. The yarn ball on the perch. Let's see if she goes for it. Oh, look, Molly, the yarn ball's on the perch. Don't you want to sit on the perch with the yarn ball? Oh, look at that. I'm going to leave that there for a little bit and see what she does. 
Anyway, basically that's what those are is I'm taking my my scraps that like the big the big scraps. Sorry, it's a mess in this bag. <clears throat> some are smaller. Stop. And some are, you know, about like this size and bigger. <laughs> and so I'm rolling these into like a mega scrap ball. And what I with the magic, I tie them with a magic knot. And I just roll and roll and roll and roll and roll until I can't hold it anymore in one hand. I can't, I can't roll it, hold it to roll it anymore. <clears throat> so you can see there's different colors in there. But the, they're obviously like bigger patches of color. Like it wouldn't look, I mean, it would still look cute to do like a cat or a bear. But it would be like huge patches of color if I did it with a mega ball. Now the mega balls are not going to be around very long. Um, hopefully. My, my goal is to use them up in a scrap blanket. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, Molly, I love you to pieces, girl. I do. But making a video is really hard when you're sitting right there in front of me. Doesn't care. She wants to snuggle with her mama. Okay, so, <clears throat> but seriously, girl. You can. There we go. Go inside. Do something. <laughs> do something. Just get out. Ah! Boy, thanks for putting up with all my uh, <laughs> not great video skills here. All right, so I am using my Mega Balls, like I said, that are not going to be around for very long. It's not something that I'm going to have in my collection. Like I'm not going to like make them in the future because technically all of these scraps like this are going to be, when I, when I make one like this, I'm going to use it. ASAP until I get down to 10 yards or less and then it goes into my magic ball stuff. Is this all confusing to you? Oh no, I just dropped the magic ball. <laughs> okay, so I am using this color, Big Twist, and I believe it's avocado? Yes, Big Twist avocado. I wanted a green that matched my um, living room. You can't really see my living room, but it's back there. And um, greens are, uh, greens and blues are my colors in there. Um, and so I wanted a color, because it's going to go in there. This is going to be something that I'm going to use. It's going to get used and washed and, and cats are going to lay on it. And I'm going to cover up with it and I'm going to lay on it. It's going to get super, super used. So I wanted it to go in my living room. So I'm using this as, stop, get out of the scrap bag. Oh my gosh, she's being so naughty today. Get out of the scrap bag, girl. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be like the, the what am I thinking? The, the factor that kind of binds the blanket together. Because it's going to be scrappy, but I want, I wanted the green to kind of be a, a reoccurring theme in the blanket. Hold on. All right. Uh, so. Um, so what I'm do what I did is I'm making um, a scrap rectangle granny blanket, and I started in the middle. Here's what I've got so far. So I started in the middle with the green, and then I'm just using the mega scrap balls, and I'm just going around and around. And then I've decided I'm doing four rounds of the green, and then there'll be eight rounds of the scraps. Four rounds of green, eight rounds of scraps, four rounds of green. You get the idea. Um, so it's, hold on, I think you're actually seeing, well, there's a yarn tail that I need to wave, weave in. There's not a right or wrong side because what I'm doing, bye Molly. I love her to pieces, but it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to make a video. Um, every, every time I get back to the beginning of a round, I am flipping it and I'm working on the reverse side. So one round is on this side, one round is on this side. I'm doing that because a couple reasons. It's actually easier to do that because when I get back to the beginning, which I do need to put a stitch marker because it's kind of hard to tell. And I almost skipped it last time. When I get back to the beginning and I join, all I have to do is flip it and then just continue. Um, I don't have to like slip stitch over to get to the right spot. So it's actually easier for, at least for me to do it this way. Um, plus I, the main reason I did it though is because I didn't want to get 
like that. So if you don't do that, sometimes the, the center or the, the rectangles kind of get off a little bit because of just the way, you know, it, it starts to slant or tilt and I didn't want that. So I'm really happy with how this is going. Um, I know I've always said I'm not a blanket maker and I'm not a shawl maker, but I'm going to have to change that because <laughs> I'm getting into being more of a blanket and shawl maker. Um, this is really fun because since I did the magic knots, the only times I'm going to have to weave in an end, um, and I could have just crocheted over it, I know, um, which I may end up doing as I go along. But technically, the only time I will have to, like, weave in anything is when I change from my green to my um, mega ball or vice versa. Because that's actually, like, tying on a new skein, so to speak. But I don't have to, like, here, there's a magic knot. And I don't care. Um, the magic knot is supposed to be 100% foolproof, and I've tried it. If you try and like pull a magic knot apart, the yarn will break first before the actual knot breaks, which I think is amazing. I don't understand how it works. Um, and I don't really have the setup to show you how to make a magic knot, but if you just like look it up, there's like tons of good videos. It's super, 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 super easy to make it, and it's just amazing. I love it. Um, if I was doing this for, I don't know, like for a fair entry or for a really special gift for somebody, I probably wouldn't do the magic knot because you can see it. I mean, it's there. You can't really feel it. I thought maybe, I mean, you can kind of feel it. I mean, if you're looking for it, but it's not going to make the blanket less comfortable. Um... And I just, I think that's so amazing. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I am in love with the magic knot. Okay. Um, super easy. If you're interested, definitely look look up a, a YouTube video. There's, a, there's several of them out there, and they're all great. It's so easy to do. You'll love it. Um, and if I can trust in the magic knot, then you can. Because I am, like, such a skeptic. It's like, this is going to fall apart. There's no way. Because you cut... You tie the knot the special way, and then you cut the yarn, like, right up to the knot. And I'm like, there is no way this is going to stay put. But it does. Magic. Magic knot. <laughs> so anyway, so that's what my, my project that I'm working on right now for my um, non-amigurumi -ami project. Because I told you my goal was to have an amigurumi project going and a non-amigurumi project going all, at all times. And that's still my goal. Um, just a couple other things have kind of slid in there, which I'll talk about. So this is my non-amigurumi project for right now. It's really heavy. Um, I am not doing any chains between the grannies because I wanted this look. I did not want a holy look. I wanted um, a tighter look for my granny square, uh, which is fine. The only chain I'm doing is in the corners. I'm doing... Um, in each corner space, I'm doing the three double crochets. Then there's the two chains for the turn and then um, three double crochets. But all the rest, I'm just triple double, no, three double crochets in each space. Um, so no chaining, which I like. Um, of course, there was chaining at the beginning when you first start a, a rectangle granny. Um, so I'm really liking it. It's going to be a great blanket for my living room. I'm excited about it. I think I'm going to have to get some more of the Big Twist avocado uh, because I don't think I'm going to have enough to do the whole blanket. And I have two. So I think I'm going to need more. But I'm kind of waiting just to kind of see what my plan is. If I, I'm Right now I said I'm doing four rows of the avocado and then eight rows of the scraps. I might decide to do more than eight rows of the scraps because I want to use as much of the scraps as I can and not do too much of the avocado because I don't want to have to really buy any more because that's like my goal. <laughs> so anyway, that was a long explanation. Um, all right, so that's kind of what I was doing up to last week. I'm, well, of course, I'm still working on the granny. Um, and I, Like I said, I finished the shawl. Um, and I've been working on, let's see, 
All right, I guess since I last talked to you, I actually started my Feel Better Friends dolls. I told you that I had gotten an assignment to do three sisters. And because usually when you get an assignment, it's for one doll. Um, sometimes in the past, I've requested two assignments. Um, but this one, I was asked if I would do all three because um, they're sisters. And they all have leukemia. One is a year old, one is four, and one is seven. And I started them on Monday. And I've been working on them pretty, um, pretty, pretty good up until then, up until now. So I have actually, the dolls are all done up until where I start adding the hair. Um, the arms are stuffed. Nothing else is stuffed yet. So they all look the same, except for the shoes. Um, these two have the darker pink shoes, and this one has the lighter pink shoes. So, and it still has strings and everything hanging everywhere. Um, so I'm actually ahead of my schedule. Um, my goal is to have these out in the mail next Friday. So, of course, I still have the hair to do, the facial features, um, and then, like, uh, a couple of them have freckles and dimples. I have to make those. Um, the kind of, I don't know, I'm going to say kind of fun thing about this is that there were no pictures. Um, we usually get pictures of the child, and we try to make the doll look like the child, obviously. Um, but every now and then, we don't get pictures because of the situation involved. Um, these are actually, um, requested by the children's caseworker. Um, I don't know any of the story behind that. So, look who's back. So, she did not send pictures, you know, privacy, privacy situation, I'm sure. Um, so it's kind of fun because I get to go just off of the description so there's no description on like how to do the hair. So I get to do the hair however I want to. There's no description, you know, stuff like that. I know that, you know, they have like freckles and dimples and stuff like that. I know hair color, but there's nothing like if the hair is curly or straight. I mean, so I kind of get to like have a little extra uh, creativity when I'm making these dolls. So I have some good ideas. Let me show you. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> something just been flying I'm not sure what it was so let me um show you the dresses sometimes I make the clothes sometimes I crochet the clothes or sew the clothes um, but a lot of times I buy the clothes off of Etsy I like to support the the makers on Etsy and um, plus it's just easier <laughs> but it does I mean it, it it does cost and you know I think it's worth it. So uh, the two of the two of the girls love Minnie Mouse, and the older girl likes princesses. So these are the dresses that I ordered. I ordered this dress for the one year old. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, that's just so cute. And then I ordered this dress for the four year old, and it's the hearts are actually glittery. Can't really see it in the camera. Oh, there you go. The hearts are glittery. Um, and I ordered this dress for, don't sit on the dress. I ordered this dress for the older girl. Aren't these adorable? I am so excited. I love making, I love making Feel Better Friends dolls. I just love it. Um, I, you know, boy, girl, I don't, it doesn't matter, but I, I do, I do have a soft spot in my heart for making the girls because I get to, you know, make the, get the little dresses and the little bows and all kinds of cutesy stuff, so... <laughs> All right, so that's what all, what else I'm working on. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Sorry. <laughs> so I am starting. Let's see. Did I get everything? Yes. So the projects I'm working on right this minute are the Feel Better Friends dolls and the Scrap Granny blanket. My two projects. Yeah. Unfortunately, I could, or fortunately, I don't know. I couldn't just stick to that. You know me, it's, you know, January 15th and I'm already, you know, blowing through my re New Year's resolutions. <laughs> but um, 
Rose with Rose Legs Crochet put out um, the list for wings. And I have donated to wings the last couple years, you know, just two or three times during the year. I, I'd like to make the stress balls and I forgot what else I've made. Um, but I just had the idea this year that I would, I want to contribute every month. Now that does not mean that I'm going to contribute a ton every month. I will be happy if I just do like one or two objects every month. Now some months will be more than that. And some months will be just the one or two. Um, if it's just one, that's fine. I'm just challenging myself to do something every month for wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a video. Um, let's see. Well, I'm going to talk more about it next Wednesday. Because next Wednesday will be my introductory video. And we'll all go into a little more in depth on what I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'm going to be doing my Friday morning videos. I'm going to be doing my Wednesday videos. They're going to be called Winging It Wednesday. <laughs> wings, winging it, get it. <laughs> Where I will show you what I'm working on for wings. Um, and so that's one announcement. The other announcement is that starting tomorrow... I'm going to do a third video every week. So every week I'm going to have three videos coming out because I've missed doing videos. Once a week is not enough for me. You know, Molly and I, we just love doing these videos. We love interacting with all of you and it's just fun. So I am going to be working on, now tomorrow's the introductory video, so I'm not going to say much here, but it's going to be called Seaside Sundays and, or Seaside Sunday. And I'm going to be working on a big project all year long. It's going to be applique, and that's all I'm going to say right now. So I will talk more about it tomorrow. I'll do the introductory tomorrow. I haven't started working on anything for it yet, but I will next week. And then next week will be the introductory for um, Winging Out Wednesdays. So three videos a week. That's my goal. Um, I'm so excited. I just feel like I'm really just like getting into my crochet even more this year. Um, I'm making it more of a priority because it's something I enjoy doing. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, I feel really good that I did Vlogmas every day in December this year. I feel like I'm having more ability to stick to things. Like my depression is not usually as bad and my anxiety is not usually as bad. So I can actually do follow through better. Um... So I'm excited. I'm excited because I added those two things to my list and I'm just really excited about it. All right. Um, this was supposed to be my first week for the Wonka and Snoopy giveaway. I'm letting myself have one, an, an one more week and we will start next week. I'm not picking anybody today. Today was supposed to be a Wonka video um, drawing. I'm going to start next week with a Snoopy. I just had um, some more things coming in that I've ordered and not everything is quite here yet. And so I, I want to make sure I get everything here so I can start putting the boxes together. Um, so I'm not drawing anybody for Wonka today. I will start next week with Snoopy. If you are interested in being in the Snoopy and or Wonka box giveaways that I'll be doing every Friday from next week through November, um, go ahead and email me your address. I will also link the video where I talk about the giveaways. I'll link that link that in the description box below. And so you can go watch that and find out what it, what's going on because I'm not going to say all that every time. <laughs> uh, but if you want to if you want to be in the giveaway, let me know and I'll add you. I've got mm, approximately 30 people I want to do each one so far. Um, some people just wanted to do Snoopy. Some people wanted to do both. And a couple people just wanted to do Wonka, which is fine. So I will start drawing next week with Snoopy. We'll see who gets the Snoopy box. Uh, I think I've said everything. This is getting so long and I don't like my videos to be too long. But I do want to show you one more thing. Who's <laughs> Molly? I can finally show you something because I gifted a copy of this to somebody and they, they got it finally. 
Um, I bought Dress Up Amigurumi book and it looks so cute. I saw this on Pamela's Adoring Crochet and I just had to have it. And basically, let me see if I can find a good picture in here. But there's some animals. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're such cute little costumes. Okay, I gotta show you some of these. Like there's a little scarecrow. Try not to show you any of the pattern. But basically you make, there's four animals that you can make. I think there's just four. Um, and there's 25 different outfits you could dress them in. And the outfits are interchangeable. Oh, well, here's a page, but you can't really see it. It's really teeny tiny. Yeah, you probably can't see that. Um, but like, there's a graduation outfit. There's, is that a rain? A raincoat, an angel, a cheerleader. Oh my gosh, look at the elephant cheerleader. But any, but any of them could be a cheerleader. The, the outfits fit any of them. And let's see. Oh my gosh, this is such a cute book. So there's base characters. Um, there's a bear. Hugo the bear. There is... Becca the deer. Oh my gosh. Sorry, this is a cat in the way. There is Duncan the dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just, I ran over to a new video. I don't think it'll make a difference to you, but. <laughs> and there is Ray the elephant. I love Ray. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, there, like I said, there's 25 different outfits. And, I mean, there's just, oh, oh my gosh, they're just so cute. So if you're looking for an amigurumi book, that is amazing. I mean, I haven't done any of the patterns in here yet, but um, they look amazing. So I got this. I gifted a copy to Terry at Yarn Joy. Um, and it was so weird because I got my copy in like three days. And her copy said it was going to take two months to get to her. <laughs> But she's gotten it. It didn't take two months, but it took a lot longer than three days. And then when I was looking at that one, I try to keep like a prize of all the new Amigurumi books, but there's been a few, a few that have been sneaking in there on me and I haven't noticed. Um, I got this one, Amigurumi Friends and Celebrations. And the mommy's pregnant. This reminded me of Ella. <laughs> Ella and Jesse. And then there's baby June. <laughs> so yeah. The mommy's pregnant. Um, so, let's see if I can find... Oh, there's some pictures on the back. There's a grandma and grandpa, stork. It's like... Like graduation, wedding. So it's like, cel like you know, celebrations. Friends and celebrations. And it just looks so adorable. So... <laughs> the, oh my gosh. Such cute book. Oh, here's like a tooth fairy. Isn't she cute? You, If you like Amigurumi, you have to have this book. And no, I am not affiliated in any way with this book. I just, I love it. <laughs> a little birthday puppy jumping out of a cake. Oh my gosh. Golden anniversary. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my gosh. I keep saying, oh my gosh. These are just adorable. Oh, look, a baby is born. Oh, cute. And the baby goes in the basket. Like the stork is actually delivering the baby. Okay, you have got to get this book. Friends and Celebrations. This is by, it just says Meteor Books. Meteor, you can't read that. M-E-T-E-O-O-R Books. I found mine on Amazon, Friends and Celebrations. Um, so, yeah, I am so excited to have these two new books. Yay, I just love them. Um, so I'm sure some of my projects will come out of those books this year. All right. Whew, I think I'm caught up. It took me forever. Sorry this video is so long. Um, I do have one yarn skein. I'm trying to be good at my yarn skeins this year. And I, I even put January 2022 on this one. I'm going to collect them all. I'm going to enter when I need to enter into Terry's um, yarn label. 
whatever. And, <laughs> and then I'm going to put them in my Snoopy jar when I've already like, when I'm done with them for the month. Um, I only have one. I have, I'm close to getting two. I'm in, oh yeah, I'll have more because it's only the 15th. I'll have more. All right. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, Sunday, and it will be a shorter video, I promise. I'm going to just kind of introduce my Seaside Sunday idea and what I plan to do, and it shouldn't be a very long video at all, um, but stay tuned for that, and you'll find out what that's all about. Bye. Thanks for watching.